Hi lovelies. So today on Celia's food, I made coconut jollof rice. So I decided to share the recipe with you guys. So stay tuned as I put you through. So the first procedure in making our coconut jollof rice is to go in with your vegetable oil then you're just going to allow it to heat up for about two minutes then go in with your chopped onions then you're going to go in with your curry powder So since it's coconut jollof rice, I decided not to add time on this one. So I just allow this to saute for extra one minute. Then go in with your tomato paste. So you're just going to stir that up and allow it to fry for extra five to four minutes. So at this point, we're going to go in with our pepper mix. In here, I have some fresh tomatoes, fresh pepper, which is your scotch, red scotch bonnet pepper, your tatashi, and your shombo. Then some onions, two to three medium onions, and also your garlic. Like I said before, you can easily add your garlic at first when you're frying your onions, or better still, you can just blend with your uh, pepper mix like this. So you're just going to allow this to fry properly. So when your jollof sauce is ready, like you're going to go in with your meat stock. Then stir that up properly. Go into your seasoning cube. your salt then you're just going to stir everything together properly then Going to go into our fish powder. So you just just going to allow it to summer for extra two minutes. We're going to remove some of your base you're just going to remove some of your stew base and set it aside so we're going with our coconut milk stir that up together so we're going to add in a little water Mix that up. Then we're going to cover and allow that to cook for extra several minutes. Then go in with your rice. So this rice, I wash this rice with hot water so this rice is not parboiled so you're just going to stir that up properly uh, 
Going going with your water then you're going to cover and allow to cook So you're just going to come back and check then you're just going to turn that up then at this point you're going to lower your heat then you see that um, gravy will first remove at the beginning of the video you're going to come and add it back just like this so we're going with some chopped onions and some tomato Then you're going to cover with some foil pepper. So you're going to come back and check on your rice. At this point, you're just going to stir that up properly so that everything can cooperate into the rice. Note, don't be scared about the burning and everything. Your jollof rice must burn, so that is a sign of a good and well cooked jollof rice. If you really want to have that party taste jollof rice, just make sure your jollof rice has to burn. So this is the final look of our jollof rice. 